So the next startup is Evoway. Uh, and it, it was born in a garage up in the north of Israel when a father of Azi and his son Ave decided to work on a new means of transportation. In addition to software, they actually used their hands and professional tools to build it and, just and then just cruised for hours enjoying the fun experience of driving Evo. It was clear that this invention cannot stay in the garage. So that is why Nave took the lead and joined the High Vashdod Accelerator to find ways to get it into the masses. So please welcome Nave. What are bikes? What are scooters? They're both inventions that changed the world over a hundred years ago and changed the world once again a few years back when we decided to put an electric motor on them. Why don't we challenge the traditional way of commuting using e-bikes and e-scooters which hasn't changed for the past hundred years? Meet Dave. Dave has an e-bike. He likes riding them because he feels safe and sturdy. But he got his bike stolen for the third time this year because he can't get them up to his apartment. On the other hand, we have John, which rides his electric scooter to the train station every day, uh, and he likes that he can carry it to the train and up to his apartment at the fourth floor in Tel Aviv. But he recently started experiencing back pain, and he doesn't feel safe on the scooter because, uh, due to the small wheels and fragile stability. My name is Nove, and ever since I was a kid, I liked working in the garage with my father, Razi, on various projects. We realized that we can create things that inspire people to think for themselves on how to do things differently, more efficiently. By rethinking how to use the wheel, the evil way was born. By standing inside two hubless wheels, we optimized the space management in the vehicle, uh, creating smaller, safer, more convenient, and more powerful way of commuting than the traditional e-bikes and e-scooters. The Evo is very uh, int intuitive to use, uh, quickly folds and opens, and gets carried easily, like a trolley, when you can't ride it. Its large wheels provide safety and control, while the surfing stance allows the body to naturally absorb uh, shocks, creating a semi-active, healthier way to commute and for off-road, more extreme uh, recreational riding. We all know about the impact of Segway, which was the starting shot of uh, the micromobility industry, which is estimated to be $22 billion and to reach $38 billion by 2025. With hundreds of companies and manufacturers, it's clear this is only the beginning. We can see the trend in the urban uh, landscape is shifting towards personal electric vehicles. The Evo has been through a long evolution process, with more than 10 models built and improved every time, and accumulating distance ridden of over 15,000 kilometers, more than 300 people from both genders and various ages who tried and enjoyed riding it, and the granted USPTO patent were ready for the next step. The EVO technology can be customized and implemented as a full urban, light and easy to carry vehicle or a full extreme, a vehicle for recreational riding only. Another use case is the urban deliveries, to make an EVO fleet uh, for urban deliveries like Tembis or Walt. In order to take the leap from a concept to a fully designed and manufacturable product, we need to raise an investment of uh, $850,000 for further R&D and design for manufacturing, which will conclude in a crowdfunding campaign, which will serve us both as a marketing method and a platform to get our first sales. If you want to try it for yourself, we'll be waiting for you outside after this event. Thank you. So I see your presentation and I remember, wow, this is cool, super cool, I like the color. Thanks. <laughs> so I see your presentation 
and I was just checking my mobile because there is a very, very famous stroller that changed the market globally by the name of uh, Yoyo, which is a 200 a compact stroller that you can take as a portable bag. It looks like a very similar business case. I think that uh, carry your own vehicle, it's brilliant. Uh, you know, I never tested it, so it will be for me a little bit too soon to charge. Uh, but I'm checking on a regular basis the trend of uh, scooters, bikes, motorbikes, all kinds of uh, new uh, transportation, and I think it looks super cool and super interesting. Thanks. How much uh, does it weigh? What's the weight? Currently it weighs around 17 kilograms, but after uh, R&D we can reduce the weight to about 14 kilograms, which is 2 kilograms higher than the traditional uh, Xiaomi scooter, which Bird used until uh, two or three months ago. And, and, and from, um, from a user experience perspective, uh, have you done any studies or thinking about, I mean, is, is, it, is it good for the human body to be, like, because it seems like you're, you're standing on the side, yes. not, not, not in the direction of, of the movement. Right. So doesn't it create all kinds of, I don't know what? The tension is created by standing straight. I'm talking about the scooter here. When you're standing straight, your body mass is higher and the shocks are transferred from the knees to the back because you don't have any suspension. When you stand sideways, it's more intuitive to the body, first of all, to shift the weight in order to steer better the vehicle and also to naturally suspend the shocks that come from the ground, reducing the tension on the back. And now I have a question that I know the answer because I spoke with you before, but I think it's important for people to hear. What is the patent status? The patent is a granted patent from the USPTO. The strength points uh, against the scooter would be the large wheels, which improve uh, suspension and stability. Larger wheels uh, grip the ground better. And both the stance is healthier and, uh, and more convenient for long rides. What about energy consumption of the battery? Is it the same? They're not the same, but the design of this vehicle uh, is equipped to, to uh, fit a larger battery in a smaller vehicle. This vehicle is capable for the same distance of a large e-bike. The idea between, behind the Evo is to create a vehicle that has both the advantages of uh, large e-bikes and a small scooter. The price for the end user will be approximately two thousand dollars. What's the what's what's your cost, the system bomb? Again, uh, approximately between uh, five hundred to seven hundred uh, dollars a piece in mass production. Any other questions? Okay, so the Evo. Huh. Yeah. This is the open stage. Thank you, Nadia. Um, the bike will be uh, the the Evo will be waiting for you outside.